Vikram returned to the peepal tree and saw the betal hanging in his usual upside position. King again catches betal and places him on his shoulders. He started to walk back. Then, I appreciate your eagerness to keep up your promise to the saint. I will tell another story and expect your judicious answer. Once in the city of Ramnagar, there was a king named Rajasimha. He was a very generous and intelligent king. He had a special quality in him by which he could read the thoughts of others. One day, one old man came to see the king. Go and tell your king that his cousin has come to see him. King's cousin? Please wait. I'll tell the king. Oh king, one old man has come to see you. Says he is your cousin. Bring him in. Long live the king. You are welcome, brother. What can I do for you? Your Majesty, I am an old man. My name is Shantaram, a poor Brahmin. Earlier, I had a beautiful house. Now, it is damaged. Earlier, my two friends used to help me in my movement. But now, I need three friends. Further, two of my best friends have left me. And also, two friends who are far away have come closer. What do you want from me? I am your cousin. I expect a worthy job here, which I have not been able to get so far. What is the reason for that? Because I expect 100 gold coins daily. This old man wants 100 gold coins daily? What he thinks of himself? A super minister? How many members are in your family? Myself, my wife, my son and my daughter. We are four. None in my court gets 100 coins salary per month. Oh king, you will realize after some time that I deserve more. Okay, report for duty now. Minister, give him 100 gold coins now. Oh, thank you, your honor. I know you will be surprised at my action of appointing him for 100 gold coins. Yes, your honor. In our mythology, Goddess Lakshmi and Goddess Saraswati are sisters. When he told we are cousins, he meant that he is son of Saraswati, meaning he is a very learned man. He meant I am son of Lakshmi, who is Goddess of Wealth. He talked about his house getting old. That he meant he was getting old and his body was getting weak. When he talked about two friends helping him in his moments, he was referring to his two legs. Now he says his three friends help him. Third friend he referred to was his walking stick. When he told about his two friends who have gone away, he was referring to his ears not functioning. When he told about his two friends who used to be away but now come close, he was meaning his falling eyesight. Now he cannot see anything far away but only close things. I was pleased with his intelligence, hence I appointed him. I find some extraordinary quality in him. We appreciate your action. Shantaram joined duty from next day. He was posted to stay near the king's chamber during night time. Early morning, 
he would return home with 100 coins as his salary. Oh, King, I have done the job entrusted to me yesterday. You mean regarding Shantaram? Yes. As soon as he gets his salary, he gives 25 coins to the poor, asking them to pray for the king's long life. Then after bath, he goes to the temple, offered 25 coins, praying to keep the poverty and grief away from the kingdom. He gives 20 coins to charity, to Brahmins and beggars. Out of the balance 10 coins were given to the lepers and 10 coins to widows and orphans. Only 10 coins he keeps for his family. What a great man he is! Shantaram, what is this sound? Shantaram, find out who is crying at this odd hour and why. As you please. Why are you crying? I am Mahalakshmi. I used to live in the palace. But an evil force has forcibly removed me from there. I am afraid that force will kill King Rajasimha. He is such a great king. I will not be able to bear his loss. When I think about the anticipated loss of such a great king, I am unable to control myself. I am helpless. Oh my God! We must save him somehow. Is there any way? Yes, there is a way. If somebody sacrifices his son before Mahakali, King can be saved. It must be done tomorrow. Mahalakshmi disappeared after giving the advice to Shantaram. King was following Shantaram to the cemetery and he hears the full conversation between Mahalakshmi and Shantaram hiding behind a tree. Shantaram was not aware of King following him. Shantaram goes to his house. What is the matter? You have come at this odd time of the night? Shantaram tells his wife what had happened at the crematorium and also about the impending death of king. He also tells about the only way by which they can save the king. Loyalty demands that a servant should save the master at all costs. It is your duty. Take away our son and do the sacrifice. Shantaram took his son to the temple. His wife and daughter accompanied them to the Mahakali temple. Not bear the loss of my brother. After my two children's death, I do not want to live. My whole family is dead. No point in my remaining alone in this world. I will follow my family. (laughs) 
King Rajasimha rushes to the temple. But it was too late. All the four had sacrificed their life. The king became very sad. Four people have sacrificed their life for my sake. If I do not repay their sacrifice with my life, I'm not worth a king. Oh, Kali, take my life too. King Rajasimha beheads himself. There ends the story. Out of the five sacrifices, which is supreme? If you know the answer and do not reply, your head will be shattered. Betal. Sacrifice means selflessness. One who has sacrificed himself without any reason or motive makes the true sacrifice. To my mind, King Rajasimha's sacrifice is supreme. How do you say that? Shantaram had taken a vow to save the king. So, he sacrificed his son. His wife and daughter sacrificed their lives because of their love and affection towards the son and the brother. Shantaram too died for his love and affection to his family. But King Rajasimha need not have died for the sake of his servant and his family. You are right, O King. But uh, you have broken my condition number one. <laughs> you have opened your mouth. So, I am flying back to my abode on the people tree. <laughs> 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 I will catch you again. I have to keep up my promise to the saint. <laughs>